Hey guys, what's up? Dizzy Nessie here. How you guys doing? So today we're going to be talking about a lens that I recently got, which was the T Artisian uh, Fisheye 11 millimeter f 2.8. And this is good for cameras that have the RF mount, like the Canon RP, Canon R5, R6, and the Canon R. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and give it a whirl around the parks and see how it looks. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Now it comes in a pretty simple box. Nothing out of the ordinary, you know, descriptions on the side and all the stuff, uh, you know, very um, nice and neat. Now, since this is a manual lens, we do need to go into the settings of the camera, specifically under the option of release shutter without lens, because the camera doesn't think that it has a lens on it attached, since again, this manual lens doesn't communicate anything back to the camera. So in this booklet, it shows it in different languages how to do it. Here is the lens itself, pretty cool. Now it's pretty small, to be honest with you. It's not like a big lens. This is my hand, you know, I don't got pretty much big hands. Uh, but this is this is it. Like I said, it's all manual focus all the way through, as well as your f-stop. You got the f-stop ring in the inside here from 2.8 all the way up to f-16. And you got your focus ring here that goes all the way up to infinity. Um, now, a really interesting thing of this lens is that the cap is actually a, it's a metal cap as well, similar to the, the like and feel of the, of the lens. So be careful of this if you're just going to throw it in your bag because this, like I said, it's metal. You don't want it banging around on some of the fronts of your lens and stuff like that. Um, but the lens itself feels really good, feels really sturdy. Um, it doesn't feel like there's many plastic parts to it, to be honest with you. Um, again, it's RF mount, so it's good for your Canon R, R5, RP, etc. Uh, and it is full frame, so because many of them, I've seen where they come uh, cameras, they come RF mount, but they're uh, crop sensor. But this is full frame, which is awesome. Looks really cool. But so far, I like it. And again, it's uh, it's pretty pretty small. Okay, here's how the lens look when it's on the camera. I have a Canon R, nothing fancy. As you can see here, it, it makes the camera really small, you know, since you don't have to have an adapter or anything. It's native um, RF mount here, and it it feels great, to be honest with you. It feels really light. As you can see, it doesn't feel like it's a big bulky lens in the front. Again, look at the size of my hand and look how it fits here. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm going to put on the lens, a regular uh, ES lens, which is with an adapter, to give you an idea how this looks one compared to the other. So you can see how the lens um, compares in size. So there you go. Here is the RF lens and here is the EF lens with the adapter on the camera. So yeah, I think it's a dead giveaway the size of this and uh, let's go ahead and give this a try out in the parks. So the first one here right off of the bat is as you can see this was Animal Kingdom and I'm shooting off of a tripod and this was literally right on the fence. Now note that this is a, uh, a full frame lens uh, for the RF mount, so you do get a lot in the image, so just note that little detail. Uh, here's another uh, one that I like a lot that I uh, actually did a long exposure right off of the side of the fence. And this was 30 seconds, but you can see how nice this looks, to be honest with you. We zoom in here, you can see all the details of the birds and everything like that, which is uh, uh, pretty impressive, to be honest with you. And I love how, how detailed the corners are. Look at this, and the corners looks really sharp. And um, which was really impressed of the lens because many times these fisheye lenses, the, the corners are usually like a little, it's too soft. This one was awesome all the way through. And here's another one that I shot. Uh, this one I cropped a little bit. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to put the whole uh, effect on, uh, on the photo, but it does provide, if you've seen some of my videos, if you know how to crop some of these shots, you can actually use a fisheye as a really good wide angle lens. I'll put a link to that video here on the top. But look how nice this looks. I love the details of this. And I'm not doing anything fancy here, guys. I'm not doing bracketing or anything. This is just a single shot. As you can see here, it's one shot. And look how nice this looks. Uh, they are long exposure, though. I'll, I will uh, tell you that. This one uh, I shot at Hollywood Studios. This was handheld. This is 1 20th of a second, literally handheld. And look how nice this looks, to be honest with you. All the way, uh, again, to the corners here. Look how nice this looks. It doesn't look... Uh, um, you can even see some details here on the side of the wall. So it's, it's, I'm really, really impressed with this lens, to be honest with you. And for what I paid for it, it's, it's, it's a steal, to be honest with you. Here's one of the confectionery that I shot at the Magic Kingdom. And I was probably just a couple of feet away from, from the food because the place was packed with people. And you can see how much I'll be able to capture here in the image. It's all the candy, which is pretty cool. Uh, here's another one that I uh, took at the arcade. 
And this is the one where they have those guns there. This is free. You just basically go in and grab the rifle and start shooting. I'm told that the one on the left is the best one, by the way. Um, but look at this. This, um, you know, all the way down to almost to the last gun here, you can see how, how sharp it is. So since it is a fisheye, you do capture a lot, obviously, in the frame. But you could get some really cool, interesting shots like this one. I, I, I've never been able to capture a shot like this before, which is where you have pirates and you have all the pirates in the jail cell and you're literally snapping it. Now, um, again, the lens is f2.8 and this is actually shooting at wide open. Uh, so um, it looks great because sometimes uh, if you've had other fisheye lenses, sometimes when you have it at wide open, it's just not really, really the best. And then sometimes we'll just like tweak it up a little bit more, you know, a, a little bit uh, up like 3.2 and then sometimes that looks where it is the best. But I'm really impressed that this lens at 2.8, like I'm shooting it here, looks awesome. Uh, here's another one that I took. Uh, uh, this was actually a long exposure as well, just for two seconds because I wanted to capture the light beams coming up. Uh, this one was actually handheld and this was I was dying to take the shot because this one a friend of mine always was made fun of me that he would have a full frame was able to capture all the flags and everything so I had to go back there and take this photo so this one just JC this one's for you um, I did shoot at 1 13th of a second uh, which is you know pretty 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 sl uh, slow on the shutter speed it does not have any type of stabilization whatsoever again it's a manual lens so when you're talking about the f-stop and the and the focus you do have to set those things manually before you take your shots um, as for uh, close-up shots here's one that I took here at home uh, with all the pencils and I basically was just a couple of inches away just to show you how sharp it looks now again you do have to uh, make sure that you focus correctly because all the other shots that I took were actually just shooting around infinity which is where you uh, focus all the way to the right to the infinity sign and that's basically uh, after a certain number of feet everything's going to be supposedly in focus here I did have to adjust my focus since I'm so close and here's another one that I took handheld a pretty pretty much close up to show you the, the, the close up of the lens when you literally up right in front to the items uh, here's another one that I took uh, right there up, up front pure daylight and here's one of my cat that I took and he's basically hanging out here and as you can see uh, everything is detailed sharp right down to the to, to the eyes and everything now if you are considering buying this lens please use your affiliate link on the bottom it costs nothing to you but we do get a little bit of commission from uh, the sale which always helps and all that stuff we always put into the channel and that's it that's the that's the review of the lens I hope you you liked it hopefully you saw the photos I personally love the lens and it's really cool um, it feels really sturdy, really good. It doesn't feel like a plasticky type of frame, like something like the uh, like the 50 millimeter Nifty 50 that you feel like it's a plastic one. This feels like a good piece of metal in your hand, so you know it's going to last a long time. And as you saw, uh, once you get that focus locked in and you find that sweet spot on the lens, you're going to get some killer shots like this. Okay, guys, so that's it. Disney Nuts signing off. Until then, stay awesome. Bye.